Good evening, good afternoon, good day, depending on where you're at. Hope everyone is well. Happy Sunday. Very chilly. Very, very chilly Sunday. It's minus 11 degrees Celsius here in the state of Michigan. It's cold. Uh, hope you're all staying warm, keeping well, and such. I should probably switch screens. Hey, there we go. So we'll say hello, start off by saying hello to chat. Wayland's here. Just as if you're not a fan of Jets, that's quite all right. Your presence is welcome regardless. Glad to have you along. I My heart will always be at the low and slow, but sometimes it's just fun to get in a jet and throw it around and have a laugh. WB 1990 is in. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Kingsman 9965 is in. Good evening to you. You're in a chilly Liverpool. I'm in a chilly Michigan. It's cold. Jay Whitaker's in Tomcat or uh, Eagles. Where Eagles dare. How you doing? Allison Johnson's here. Great. Good to see it. Glad that I caught at least the tail end of your stream this morning. One of, the, one of these days, I'll manage to catch the whole thing. But fantastic job nonetheless. Two-Tone Murphy is also in. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're well. Roger C. Roger RC75 is in. Good to see you. Big Ear 60, good evening to you as well. Wayland is, says it's negative 5C in Germany. But loads of snow. Yeah, we got we got enough snow here too. <laughs> so we got some dangerous music playing. Dangerous Corp by Master Boot Record. Fairly appropriate. I added a couple of things. You'll notice a, a ticker of sorts uh, for text that lists all the current Twitch subscribers. Uh, you really have to ask about the aviators. I mean, what kind of dangerous stream would it be? without the aviators. That's fair. That's fair, Wayland. That's fair. So, we're in the F-15 today because it's a good bird. Pardon the disaster that is the rest of my room. Call the ball. So we're here in the DC Designs F-15C. Gosh, it's kind of dark with these on. We shall put them on the top of the head so I can see. See what I did there. So. <laughs> I love the F-15C. It's the single seat version. Uh, there's also the D, which is the twin seat training variant. Then the E and the I. The E is the Strike Eagle with two seats. Good evening, Ben McClure. God with Zeus is in. I don't want to take your F-15. I'll take my F-15. We're in the colors of the 144th Fighter Wing. We're getting some odd... Oh, I see, I see a G91. So, we're going to get in the cockpit. We're going to start this bad boy up. So if you have any mixture levers, make sure that they're set to full. Cycle your fuel cutoffs. Turn on your master switches. And we can start up the engines. Make sure your parking brake is set. Ed Reed is in the house, also known as Shaney Train. Good to see you, my friend.
There's engine two spooling up. So we go over here, we click that, we go to start engine one, the left engine. Yo, well, Ireland's in the house, good to see you, my dude. Hope you're well, staying warm. Well, that's never a good sign. There's the engine one spooling up now. There's an MB339. Give that a click. Odd being parked right next to. Uh, it's currently minus 11 centigrade. Uh, it's in the low teens. I think it's 14 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's kind of cold. It's good for sleeping. Can't give you that much. It's great for sleeping. Look at that beauty. Isn't that something? And that Fiat G91's no slouch either. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure the these are switched off. We're gonna turn off our turn on our anti-collision, our forge. They be formation lights and nav lights. Real fast. Taxi lights. And we're gonna close the canopy. Oh yeah, wings and beer. Murph's gonna jump into VR. Nice. Yeah, the the size of the F-15 compared to that of you know a Bonanza, it's it's kind of it's kind of silly. <laughs> so we've got two at least two MB-339s, a G-91, me and the F-15. Looks like we have another MB-339. So we've got our loadout, we've got our missiles, we've got our field tanks, we're good to go. Last thing to do is turn on the anti-skid and the intake ramps. Uh, that's an excellent question. Allison is watching this evening, no worries, I'm just glad to have you along. I see Roger is in the MB339. Aha, Murphy's in the Fiat G91, the what I like to call the bootleg F-86. And there's Frozen. So, Kingsman is in a Eurofighter. Awesome. So, we're going to release the parking brake. Bring our throttles to idle. We're going to begin taxi to the active. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're flying over in the west. We'll fly over some fantastic mountains. I don't know how I'd feel being in a Bonanza and have an F-15 roll up behind me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, uh, I think, like, in the L-19, 
the the mirrors the mirror kind of works these work rather well uh same in the wako which is nice and i just realized i forgot my water bottle in my kitchen So we're gonna go ahead and get something set. We need a course of E56. So do this. Zero. I'm on 32 ESD say zero. Yeah, we're looking for runway. Goodness, I don't know what it is. We are on East USA. We're just gonna casually go around. Let's see. We're pressing all kinds of. Uh, I've got you. We're going to the opposite end of the runway. Airport current airport code is Kilo Hotel India Foxtrot. We are at Hill Air Force Base. Button I wanted, but and we're going to be flying up to Bozeman, Montana for a stop. really fast so nice bit of taxiing action going on That's correct. And we're going to Kilo Bravo Zulu November. Kingsman9965 with the subscribe on Twitch. Many thanks, my friend. Greatly appreciated. And Wayland 2021 2021 with the follow. Many thanks, my dude. Very greatly appreciated. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna make sure everybody's caught up. <laughs> it's all good. So we'll hold short for a moment, let everyone get to the active. And while everybody is catching up, we lose Murph. There was a G91. I'm going to go grab my water bottle so I can stay hydrated. That's my knee. 
All right. Get our water situated and ready to go. Oh, beautiful water. So, seems like everybody's here except it seems we lost a Murph. Which is odd, but we'll move forward and we'll get off the ground. So flaps are up, speed brakes in. Hitting bugs set. Ooh, you know what we didn't activate. Panel lights. Let's see, I have no idea the answer is. Uh, yeah! <laughs> it's deceptive. When you, when you don't see them compared to something else, it it's just like, oh, you know, it's not that big. Then you put it against other stuff and it's just like oh my so we're gonna line up on the runway we're gonna slowly introduce some throttle release the brakes Airspeed's alive. Off the ground. Woo! And we have another F-15 with us. We're going to reduce throttle so we're not leaving everyone in the dust. And let me tell you, this F-15 is nuts in VR. In fact, the other night I was flying it around in VR. I took off out of Bagram in Afghanistan. And lo and behold, I, re I found a fellow flyer whom I'm not sure their name they were flying around in the 339 and we flew formation a little bit and had some fun in the mountains and has a good time so don't feel too bad if we're not close together it's a little more difficult to do in these guys but do know that I know you're there So we'll circle around. And we're going to get in here. We're going to go down to the old autopilot, activate it, and go to heading hold. The best thing to practice in with jets for or for jets is definitely the 339. It's very forgiving. I mean, unless you go with like a CJ4, and that's also 
good. I, I would definitely, uh, for getting used to it, I would definitely pick the... 339 over the Eurofighter for acclimation. Now, I don't know why it's doing this. AP is doing some very odd things. So the AP is still a little iffy in this machine. It works, but it's finicky. And so is the trim. Yeah, I took the version, uh, this is with the add-on that somebody, the, someone tweaked the fight dynamics of the F-15, and actually it's quite a bit better. Um, okay, let's try this again. Let's hope this works. So we're going to, now that we've stabilized, we're going to increase speed, looking to get around, hello, around 300 knots. So as we gain speed, the nose goes down, which is what we want. There's 300 knots, so we're going to back, start backing it down. There's 350. So we're going by the mountains rather quickly, but they still look fantastic. 
So we're trying to, oh, we're, almost, we're pushing 400 knots, so we're going to dial it back just a little bit more. Flying through a cloud. So we're going to speed brake a little bit, drop some speed. Trying to keep it around 350. Yeah, there we go. 350. So we've got another F15 up there, and Sim. Sim crash. Very dangerous. Looks like Murph also had a crash. I blame the servers. Because Asobo doesn't know how to operate without destroying servers that are actively being used. Hashtag design flaw. But it happens. We'll reload, relog, and get back rolling. Member to all TTM discovery. Yeah, it's just server instabilities. It's it's un it's 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 getting ludicrous, and it always happens around a big update. And talk about a convoluted and pain in the butt way to do things. Sure, it works, but dead gum. Yeah, I, I read it. Not exactly a painless. That's that's a real painful way to do things. I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure it works, but. Man, that's ridiculous. That's asking a lot. Yeah, that's that's true. And again, I I, I have no I, no, I believe that it works. It's just what a pain.
All right, so. Well, if anything, it might give me a project to do tomorrow. I do need have a hard drive, a new hard drive I need to install. So who knows? hold hitting hold I can't see my throttle Don't hide me. So we're flying between the cloud layers. And I reset all the stuff that we had going. And I skid. Noel K from YouTube is now following here on Twitch. Many thanks, my friend. I do greatly appreciate it. So yeah, most of my, my CTD issues happen with OBS running. It's not so much of a problem when I'm flying on my own. Or in VR especially. It's, pretty, it's actually really stable in VR, which is weird. 
but for whatever reason when I'm streaming it it gets real crashy and it's it's we just weird So I think DC Designs is aware of some issues with the autopilot being goofy. Seems I've got it sorted out now. Huzzah. How you doing, Noel? Good to see you. We're having some fun in the old jet powered stuff today. He should be right at 3.30. We can pull back just a little on speed. See, Bidwell91, how you doing? Hope you're well. Happy Sunday. In an overall sense, I'm happy with it. It seems to be the point of consternation with a lot of other people. But the the short version is I enjoy it. We're here flying with some fireflies. We just got overflown by another. Ha! Murph has gone into the F-15 from the G-91. See all our other friends in the back there. Speed break a bit, get closer to 300. There's big ears in the distance up ahead. Look at that. Uh, no, Delta 99A is now following on Twitch. Many thanks. Much appreciated. Here comes Murph. Hey, yeah, much appreciated. We just kind of are getting started.
So we took off from Hill Air Force Base, and we're on our way to Bozeman, Montana. Uh, it's just the saying that we use when we're talking about flying jets is, we're dangerous. Kind of like Maverick from Top Gun. Kind of a continuous uh, gag, if you will, from Murphy's streams that we're just being dangerous. And we're flying jets instead of being low and slow like we normally are. That's how you do a snap roll. So let me know what you all think of the little ticker I have to acknowledge the current list of subscribers. I don't have any YouTube members to add because my YouTube channel is not monetized. However, it's the least I could do to thank and acknowledge all the very generous and kind Twitch subscribers. Hopefully you're not gonna you're gonna be able to get in soon. We've got three three nines. We had a uh, G ninety one. We've got a Eurofighter, and we have a couple of F 15s Obviously, it's not up to date with today's subscriptions, as M Dag X seventeen is now following. Many thanks, my friend. So I might need to adjust the AP heading to the left to 350. As Thomas the Gamer's SC, or Tom the Gamer SC, is now following. Many thanks. You appreciate it. So we're still making our way up, up the mountain ranges to Bozeman, Montana. We have Two Tone Murphy on our wing right now. And without a doubt, he's in VR. So many thanks everyone for the new follows, the new subs. There's another F-15. 
There's a roll. Aha! Murph's going inverted. Uh, what machine would you suggest using if you don't have any of the jet fighters? You can use the CJ-4, the Cessna Longitude. Uh, I don't, I don't know the top speed of the TBM, but that might be an option. Yep. Mur Murph's having fun, and with fun and Murph means danger. He's inverted. He's going for the Polaroid. <laughs> There's always one, and it's and this time it's Murph. <laughs> but this is why we do it. Almost got it. So as we look down on the mountain ranges below and the way the sun's hitting the clouds, it's just tons of fun it's so beautiful even at these speeds see a couple of fireflies there in the clouds We got zooming. Let me do some fly myself thing. Maybe just. Right on, Delta. Well, do appreciate you swinging by regardless. You take it easy and enjoy your little bit of time in DCS. Looks like Murph's going for a second attempt. Check out our speed. Yeah, 328. Not too bad. How you doing, War Hamster? That's to uh, take care of you. Okay. So this... Bozeman, Montana is also around Yellowstone, so there's that. You see what add the flashing Nads lights for friendly on is for hot mission. I'm sure that uh, it's a possibility they'll add that. The IFF might need to be suggested on their Facebook page because they're always taking suggestions.
Sí, 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 sí. You take it easy, Delta. Since you have the hours, it's just... I'm sure I could. I lack the in-depth knowledge of the IFF lights, however, so... Any info on that would be helpful, bringing it to the dev. Trying to keep it at a reasonable speed of just above 300 knots so that I'm not, you know, getting ridiculously ahead of everybody. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh well. And we're just gonna get rid of it. Well, it was just working. Hmm. And back. Hmm. Roger that, Ed. So we're going to pop out of the cockpit again. We're actually almost to our destination of Bozeman, Montana. So I think from here, we're going to... Turn off the AP, and we're going to have some real fun. Do some dangerous flying now. I 
Yoshi eats onions. Good day. How are you? Happy Sunday. Hope you're well. We're on our way to do Bozeman, Montana. Six knots. Evening Colonel was lurking there for a while. What server are you on? East USA. East USA is the correct server. We had some fireflies itching for some jet flying, so we're it scratching that itch tonight. That looks like fun. Oh. Oh, the trim. Hello, ho lads. Daka 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 daka. Can't, can't wait until they add rooster tails into the sim for that low level water flying. It certainly is, Allison. The Alpha Jets actually f should be fine. I don't know its speed capabilities, but I do have it installed. You're welcome to use that. I kind of just forgot about it. Let's get that one. There we go. This one's for War Hamster. Yeah, I've I've tested it out. It's it's not bad. Um, it's just no interior.
chucks away, lads. Takes a lot of concentration not to hit the trees. <laughs> oh, this is fun. The low and slow flying of general aviation will always be where my heart and soul is. But doggone, if this isn't fun every now and then. Only doing point six mock. Absolutely. And the only way that this flying could get better is doing it in VR. And trees clear. We got a CJ4, I believe, with us. So we're on our, we're almost to Kilo Bravo Zulu November, which is Bozeman, Montana. Yeah, VR is. I don't have the adequate words to describe how awesome it is and just the sense of immersion. You can, with the higher end headsets, you're going to get a be better fi visual fidelity. Um, but even with a lower visual fidelity, the immersion factor of just feeling like you're inside of the cockpit is just unreal. Well, it's it's so realistic, it's unreal. If that makes any sense. Press the hill. Roll it. We're going to scare the bears. Look at that.
Seems we've run through all of the uh, pylon tanks, so we jettisoned. So we're coming up on Bozeman, Montana, so we're going to reduce power. Uh, I had it on my old PlayStation, but that's back in the home. Ah. So we'll overfly the field, get a look for runways. Wind is indicating out of the west at five knots. Slower way down. Gonna do a straight in. So gear coming down, flaps coming down. As we've made it to Bozeman, Montana. So we'll get down, we'll watch the landings. You take care, Noel. Glad to have you along as long as you could. And we'll catch you tomorrow. As Solitude for me followed on Twitch, many thanks. Very kind of you. Ooh, she doesn't like slow speeds. Airport code is Kilo Bravo Zulu November. We're a wee bit off of the runway, but that's okay. I'd say 302 for an F-15 isn't awful. Especially when inexperienced. That feels good. So we'll get slowed up here. Park off to the side. Record some landings. Flaps going up. Speed brake coming down. Get parked up over here. Ah, Allison, you're too hard on yourself. You you recovered it very nicely. All right, so. Camera, 
Speed. Uh. As Murphy is inbound, number one. Nicely done. So runway three zero is open. Once everybody gets down, I'm going to restart the sim. Beautiful scenery here in Montana. A little early on. No worries. There's Gibbo. Oh, and then there's Big Ears. There's Sean Legaman, Roger RC, and Six Knots. All inbound. There's Kingsman. King's been overflying the airfield. There's Roger to RC. I think there's some sort of discrepancy in where my runway is and where everyone else's runway is. Interesting. Very odd. And of course, it's all moot because now Flight Sim crashed again. Well, at least this time I was on the ground.
So many apologies for missing all the other landings. Going to go in here and a little bit of cleanup, getting ready to restart the sim. Um, that's a loaded question. If you go into it, don't, if you're going to get it, don't expect it to be study level quality because it's not study level quality. It will, wasn't meant to be study level quality for what it is. I like it and they're working hard to address some of the, the bugs that have popped up. Um, you get four different models. Uh, you get the, the C, the D, the E, and the I. And it's fun to fly. How does it compare to the other fighters? Uh, it, in my opinion, it's better than the Eurofighter. I, compared to the G91 and the MB339, I think... It has a bit less functionality than those. But they kind of make, in, up, make up for it to a degree when it comes to... You get four models. You still get an AP. The, the modeling is, is quite nice. Um... I mean, to, for me and the way I went into it, I was happy with it, and I thought it was worth it. Um, it does have a few niggly bits here and there, but they're working on them, they're addressing them, so it's not something that's, you know, abandoned wear, so to speak. I bet it was, Murph. And we haven't gone over the, the big mountains yet. We should be... At some point uh, between the next stop at KSKA, Spokane and Seattle, we'll go by Mount Rainier. Like the G91, it's good. It's It has its fair share of bugs. Uh, the MB339 is really well done, although it lacks an autopilot, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, even a basic autopilot. Uh, ah, yeah. I, I I don't regret my decision. I'll, I'll put it that way. Well, I appreciate that you value my opinion. Uh, like I said, it's it's fun. It's just don't expect it to be DCS. <laughs> that's that's the big thing. It's and, and that's been a lot of lot of contention because uh, there's been some contention around the DC designs F15. I like it. It's not DCS. It's not meant to be like DCS. It, it's meant to be fun to throw around and have a laugh and you know get that jet flying out of your system. It's it's not meant to be you know a combat ready in depth study level fighter jet. Yeah, exactly what Murph said. You know, and plus 
Uh, the, the the niggly bits that it has are being addressed by the developer. He's op as he's open to constructive feedback. You know, there's some things that are user preference and you know acknowledging as as such. Um, there's some things he can't win. Some a lot of people like the V1 cockpit. A lot of people prefer the V2 cockpit. So it's it's really some of those niggly bits that are a little maddening for a developer. Yeah, no, 100%. And the fact that you can change the, if you, when you go into the, the loading, uh, the uh, weight and balance screen, you can add missiles, bombs, fuel tanks. You know, you can make it look like a combat ready aircraft and it's phenomenal. You know, so they did a lot of working things. It has a working HUD. You know, they did a lot of work around it. It has afterburners. So it has a lot of a lot of good things going for it, in my opinion. It's by no means perfect, but it's still enjoyable. <laughs> Murph's still dizzy. Uh, for free, the Alpha Jet isn't bad to fly once the copy. No, for sure. If you're gonna buy one, I. Gosh, I couldn't pin. I enjoy all of them for different reasons. <laughs> uh, if if they all had come out on the same day, between the G ninety one. The F-15 and the MB-339, I probably would have gone with the F-15. But that's me not knowing, having known anything about the 339 or the G-91, uh, I, but I know the F-15. Well, huzzah! Then we can really have the Grey Pigeons. Oh, you know, moving flight sim, that'd be absolutely bonkers. So, make sure those are those. He's going to figure out life. So, let's go on. That cycles. Oh, nice. Uh, Liverpool to that set alpha. The French air back to the food was old one for the Ha. Just getting things sorted. We want to set our heading bug to 280 degrees as we make our way to Spokane. And that rant's coming on, anti skids on.
activate heading mode. Engines come to a complete start. Okay. There's Southwest Airlines. We're maneuvering our way to the air. There, the air, yes. In a manner of speaking, that was correct. Uh, making our way towards the runway. And what I thought was maybe a military ramp turned out to just be, have a bunch of, you know, airliners on it. <laughs> We have a 320, but he's doing his own flight. Ah, we won't worry about him. He's probably really confused as why all of a sudden there's a bunch of fighter jets. Just be nice to the poor airliner and will be out of his way shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and get rolling whilst everyone else waits for the airliner to do his thing. I'll get airborne and circle the field, as it were. Non afterburner takeoff. So, welcome to Bozeman. Just remember to be kind. That poor airliner is really confused.
airliners up. All right, airliner is clear. Making sure we've got everybody up and on the road, on the road, in the air, up and up and on the go. I don't know, words are hard. Got two taken off now. We got one on the hold short line. There's another light up. Couple more taxing. <laughs> We could, but we've got places to go. As 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 fun of a plan as that sounds, we we will be kind and not confuse them any more than we already have. All right, so we're going to. Take a course of 280 degrees on our way to Spokane, Washington. Or at least the Spokane, Washington area. Murph's got its own. No, Murph, no. Don't make me get the spray bottle. So we're going to do a little flying by hand. We're going to slow down. We don't need to go 450. Make our way a little closer to the magenta line. There's an auto marker. Or a marker beacon, I should say. Even the 339 looks small in comparison to the F-15. It's, it's kind of humorous, almost. And Schmutz on the monitor. You ever have that epic battle of, is it something on the monitor or is it in the, the airplane glass? Like the spot won't come out.
Hopefully this setting will... Uh, I... <laughs> I certainly do. I've got three tangos. <laughs> I get the same thing in um, I think it's the 182 actually I can't think of any of them that don't have something to where I'm just like stop marking up my monitor and then realizing oh it's an airplane Four tangos, I'm noticing. Now, at some point, we may have to adjust our altitude. And by might need to adjust our altitude. We might need to adjust it to uh, adjust it now. So AP oh, is off. We're gonna gain a little bit of altitude, maybe get above this layer of clouds. There we go. Woo! So we still get to enjoy some very nice scenery with friends. Oh. oh, look at those afterburners go. No worries about the midair re refueling. It happens. Let's check our speed. Yeah, 311, that's pretty good. back is sore. 
Oh. So we are going to. It's near. It's Fairchild Air Force Base. And Fairchild Air Force Base near so it's located 10 miles southwest of Spokane, Washington. Let's see. Fairchild Air Force Base is a United States Air Force Base located approximately 12 miles southwest of Spokane, Washington. The host unit at Fairchild is the 92nd Air Refueling Wing assigned to the Air Mobility Command's 18th Air Force. The 90, 92nd Air Refueling Wing is responsible for providing air refueling as well as passenger and cargo airlift and aeromedical evacuation missions supporting the U.S. and coalition conventional operations as well as U.S. Strategic Command Strategic Deterrence Missions. Fairchild Air Force Base was established in 1942 as the Spokane Army Air Depot and is named in honor of General uh, Muir S. Fairchild, a World War I aviator. He was the Vice Chief of Staff of the Air Force at the time of his death. As of 2018, the 92nd Air Refueling Wing was commanded by Colonel Derek Sal Salmi, its command chief master sergeant was Chief Master Sergeant Lee Mills. So there's a little bit of history about that. It's definitely the Pacific Northwest of the United States. So it's the home of some KC-135 Stratotankers. Huzzah! And Stratotankers, Stratotankers... Oh, UH-1N Iroquois. Uh, no, that's McCord. McCord is right by Seattle. Spokane is on the east side of the state of Washington. Uh, Fair, which is where Fairchild is at. Uh, we will end in at McCord, which we recently stopped at McCord on a Murphy stream, the Coast Starlight Tour. So we'll be revisiting that facility here soon. Looks like we do have an Alpha Jet. Yeah, the Alpha Jet's a neat little airplane. I don't know much about it, and I'm interested to see the development of it. As I mean, even as a freeware aircraft, it's you know the model is very well done. Note to self, don't move the back too much. Oh, that's a neat shot.
Oh, goodness. Remember, folks, when you're going to do some strenuous activity, like shoveling snow, stretch first. It might make you feel better in the long run. Especially if it's been a minute since you've done some strenuous activity. <laughs> yeah, from what I'm understanding, you guys don't necessarily get a lot in the way of snow. Here, we get dumped on. And not only do we get regular snow, we get lake effect snow. Which is moisture that just kind of goes into the air from Lake Michigan, goes into the atmosphere, and then immediately just turns into snow. And yeah, that's real fun. And then you get the wet and heavy snow versus the light and fluffy snow. The light and fluffy stuff, not a problem. The wet and heavy stuff, that's not fun. See, and that's the worst combination, rain and cold. Because that's, I mean, rain is kind of a miserable thing to be in anyway. But then you add the cold into it, it's just, ugh. It's like a double whammy of bleh. I've been shoveling snow every day. Yeah, I know the feeling. I, I, I did it once, then we had a few sunny days, and it cleared up at least in the areas that I shoveled, and then we got dumped on the last couple of days. And yesterday was, my back had enough. <laughs> This is just cool. I should probably check to see if there's terrain to worry about. Doesn't appear to be indicating about 339 in knots indicated. This is just neat. I love the low and slow. I love, you know, planes that are 170 knots or under. But sometimes it's just fun to fly the jets. And lately my, my big love to fly plane has been the L-19. Just because it's, it's, it's... The only thing I w wish I could do with the L-19 is put a 172 engine in it. Give it a little bit more horsepower. Woof. I think that jet noise is the Alpha, because I think the Alpha jet's currently using, like, the A320 sounds. Cornwall and Skyline has a lot of snow. That makes sense. The further north you go, the more likely snow is. So definitely f wanted to fly jets today just because it been we've all been itching for the mock loop and the mock loop I'm waiting to do with the UK and Ireland update but it's now been pushed back 2 weeks and we still have to wait until what Thursday So I thought you know what tide us over for a little bit longer we'll fly some jets have a laugh fly over some mountains and then once the big update hits we will head to the mock loop pardon me uh, Cornwall is southwest furthest you can go 
But is it named because there's a wall made of corn? I, I have to know. Look at the state of those mountains. <laughs> I I had to ask because I'm silly like that. I think somebody should get a bunch of corn, just dried corn, make a wall out of it in Cornwall. So then it can be the, the Cornwall of Cornwall. Or is that just me being a silly American? I'd get quite the hoot out of that. <laughs> Yar. Oh gosh, look at the lighting and the clouds and the mountains. Isn't that something? It'd be fun if they modeled those in. Give you something to look out uh, look at while flying around. We someone's having fun. So, I need to check that. So, you spent last 10 minutes troubleshooting why I wasn't on the magenta line. Helps if. Uh, yeah, that might help. I'm not on the magenta line, I'm a little to the right of it. But I. Let's see. Need to turn to the two seven zero. That'll get me back on it in theory. Just look at it. Isn't it epic? I'm also trying to uh, K M S O. Ha! So we're just south of Missoula. Missoula. So we should be. Where's Missoula? Missoula. So we're still in Montana. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely incredible views. Now, if, if there is a wish list I could make for the F-15, I would definitely want a proper nav mode. And GPS system. But at the same time, I don't want to start nitpicking this poor man, this poor developer. Because he, the, the, I feel bad for him, because being a developer for any kind of software is 
really you're really in a bad position because you're you're darned if you do and darned if you don't. And this dude, DC Designs has really been bombarded by the the toxic part of the DCS fan club, which is really sad to see, just in a general kind of sense. But you know, I feel like you know I want to give the dude feedback on things that are you know I think need fixed or adjusted or added. But I want to make sure that I'm doing it constructive because this poor dude's just been just bombarded by people expecting DCS quality for something in Microsoft Flight Sim, and it's it's awful. Yeah, what you can't fire the missiles? So you know, it's just so I, I feel bad. I feel bad for the guy, and you know, you, dude's got and. There's nothing, you know, there are issues with this, but none that are just like, oh, I can't play it. It was never meant to be DCS. It doesn't need to be DCS. DCS is DCS. That That's that's great. It's a great platform, and more power to them on, you know, success and being great at what it is. But having fighter jets and flight sim... You know, it's awesome. You can explore the whole world in a fighter jet if you wanted to. You can't do that in DCS. You know, I don't need to fire the missiles and do this, that, and the other thing in, you know, if I don't want to. I can just have a nice, cool flight with the, with the fireflies. Ooh, that's a tough one. I guess it really kind of depends on what dev or what dev is making what I, I honestly would love to see the see Microsoft develop a or take development from this and make a completely separate combat flight sim like they did way back in the 90s because I think there's a, a fair market for it uh, my buddy Jay Winokur has been playing War Thunder and it has up to, I want to say up to some Vietnam era jets in it, maybe even to the 80s. Um, but I, I think there's a, a strong market for a combat flight sim that's more simmy than War Thunder is, but less simmy than what DCS is. A nice middle ground for those of us that, you know, and that, that, that's what I think uh, Combat Flight Simulator was from Microsoft ba way back when. Because it allows people to fly around and just, you know, have a ball with fighter planes. But it's not as, you know, study hard as, you know, DCS. But it's, you know, you, it can be as more... It can be as in-depth or casual as you want it to be and allow for more people to get involved. And I I think that there's a, a serious market for it, but I, I'm i not a dev. I'm not in those circles, so I could not... I couldn't say. For sure. It just seems to me that they could do well... You know, getting back into the combat flight sim market. You know, and especially using Microsoft Flight Sim as a base. You know, they've got a nice visually appealing, you know, sim to work off of. You throw in some, you know, warbirds and some missions and stuff, and it could be fantastic. No, 100%. And, and yeah, well, that's exactly why I haven't gotten into it at all. Because it looks good, and it looks fun to some degree, but to have such a steep learning curve, and not to mention that, you know, the price for modules add-ons for DCS 
you know, makes even, like, the DC Designs F-15 look cheap. Like, low-priced. And you're talking to see if the F-A-18C add-on was 80 bucks. That's ludicrous. You know, I'm sure it's fantastically modeled and in-depth and this and that and the other thing, which is great, but that's not... You know, DCS is such a time and money investment that... You know, the average person isn't going to want to get into it. They want a f combat flight sim, but they don't want to spend months learning an airplane. You know, because that's... But, you know, there are those of us that... They want something... That, you know, they want to be able to just jump into play, but they don't want to play something like War Thunder. Not to say that War Thunder's bad, but they want something a bit more in-depth than that but not so in depth of to the depths of DCS. And so I think there's a, a huge market potential for that. But that's me. And I and I can I can see that there are some likely liability issues and this and that that maybe Microsoft doesn't want to get into or deal with. Which is why doing something, you know, set in World War Two or Korea, even, or you know, even anywhere from World War One to Korea, would be a great period for a Microsoft Combat Flight Sim, because there, there's such a broad range of getting into early, you know, early stuff, but some modern stuff, and you know, because when you get into modern day jets and stuff. Realistically, it's not like Top Gun. Top Gun, great movie, not realistic with the flight, the the combat mechanics. Because uh, realistically, you'd be you'd be firing a missile without ever visually seeing somebody. And you know, for a movie or a video game, that's fairly boring. You know, not to mention the learning curve of DCS. You know, and and that's why. As I step off of my soapbox, that is why I feel like Microsoft and Asobo should at least look into the possibility. And not, eh. drones are used a lot, but it's most that's mostly air to ground stuff. But you know, modern air combat isn't what it was, you know, in Vietnam or Korea or War II. It's it's not the same same thing anymore even even it's not even the same as desert storm you know there's a there's a lot of it's it's more electronics and missiles and fire and forget kind of stuff as opposed to dog fighting and you know which is yeah i'm gonna get off the soapbox now but that's that's my opinion and i won't it this has been my TED Talk, I guess. Yeah. Well, and and even looking into how they're approaching uh, Top Gun 2 is they're trying to avoid using CG. And the, the practical effects look so much better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so but that's 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 why I think that Microsoft and Sobo should investigate interest in a combat flight sim. So we're getting somewhat close, it seems. We're about halfway between. Uh, we're about three quarters of the way on the leg. Can you imagine being in a real F-15 listening to Foster and Allen? Oh. Oof. 
I need a better chair that has better back support, especially when my back is tweaked like it is. But yeah, no, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy the MB339 in FS, uh, although I my minor gripe is that it could use a rudimentary autopilot system. Um, the G91's fantastic, even if it looks like a, a, a bootleg F86. The Eurofighter's nice, it could down the road use a, a cockpit overhaul a cockpit and systems overhaul the the alpha jets really looking very promising for being especially for being freeware i'm looking for the india fox it looking forward to the india fox echo t45c there's there's and hopefully within the next it seems like here soon we'll be getting a Spitfire, which that'll be a whole load of fun. We can go daka 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 and all sorts of things. There's lots of loads of good stuff the the alpha no that not the alpha the just flight pa28 looks great uh although i wish they went didn't go for the arrow and i wish they kind of wish they had gone for a cherokee but i digress you know and lots of great stuff going on with Murphy and the website and the fireflies. And that Alpha Jet just looks neat. I'd like to see a Desault Rao, Rafal, as Enemy Ace 2018 says hello. Well, hello. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's so much good stuff coming out on the on the table for flight sim it's it's just staggering almost hope hope your sunday is going well enemy ace welcome to the stream ryan 98XD is now following many thanks, my dude. We're, we took off from Bozeman, Mon well, we initially took off from uh, Hill Air Force Base near Salt Lake City, Utah. We flew north, landed in Bozeman, Montana. We're now on our way to Fairchild Air Force Base near Spokane, Washington. And then we will be making our way towards McCord Air Force Base near Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is the DC Designs F-15 Eagle. Uh, this is in particular the C model. The DC Designs F-15 Ack comes with the C, the D, the E, and the I models. We have some friends in the India Fox Echo MB339, the Freeware Alpha Jet from Dassault, in the, uh, and I think we've had friends in the Fiat G91 and the Eurofighter Typhoon. It's absolutely stunning imagery, and we're getting awfully close to our third airport of the evening of Kilo Sierra Kilo Alpha Fairchild Air Force Base the beauty edge for sure Ed
So we're getting awfully close to our destination. We'll pop into the cockpit a little bit. The C model is definitely the older of the available models in the DC Designs pack. Including a working HUD. Which is nice. Uh, cannot Fox one? I could dive on somebody and go daka 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 but none of the weapons are functional i think the g91 has releasable bombs and maybe rockets Look at the state of that. going for the Polaroid or was going for the Polaroid so is the bus go to bed working early tomorrow for eight tomorrow you have a great night you take care, and we'll catch you on Discord and the next stream for sure. You have a good night, and thanks for coming along. Alright, so. In the cockpit. Go ahead and... Turn off the old autopilot. As we see, our runway is in sight. So, welcome to Spokane, Washington. Camera on for dangerous effect. It's funny, even not in VR, I will still try to look around the, the frame of the canopy.
So there is the main international airport. We're aiming for Fairchild Air Force Base. She getting bumpy. Speed brake, but coming back out. Get around 200 knots indicated, and we'll toss down the gear in the flaps. Gear and flaps deploying. Speed brake coming back in. Increase the power so we don't sink. Easy does it. She wants to move around an awful lot. Just keep her steady. Start bringing the nose up just a little. Pull back on the power a little bit. Adjustments. Little adjustments. about them apples uh, I disabled the sim toolkit pro I think it was causing issues start flaps in parking or the uh, speed brakes in we're gonna oh slow her down slow her down slow her down and make this taxiway give me but moments to get parked up and start getting okay this should be good so stop there parking brake activated oh silly camera that Many thanks, Allison. As Frozen is in. Ooh, lots of... Lots of activity over here. As Chilled Corky's here. There's six knots. So, runway two, three is cleared for landing welcome to washington once everyone gets down i will restart the sim and we'll make our final leg to mccord air force base I guess we can hide me.
Why does all the fancy, nice chairs have to be leather? Why can't they be cloth? Cloth doesn't squeak. Cloth isn't sticky in the summertime, freezing in the wintertime. What kind of chair do you have, Allison? I've been playing around with the idea of getting one of those ergonomic chairs, uh, the autonomous chairs, or whatever they're called. Because uh, they look quite, they look relatively nice. Who do we have inbound? There's Gibbo Ireland in the latitude, longitude, the big citation. There's Chilled Corky. Uh oh. Kingsman just had a crash. Noble Hero Anthracite. As six knots is in in the Alpha Jet. Will you take care, Kingsman? Sorry about the crash. It was good having you along. Thanks for your subscription. It's very appreciated. Glad you were along. You take care of yourself, and we'll catch you on Discord and the next stream for sure. There's Roger RC in the MB339. Did I not zoom in at all? Got big ears and Sean Legoman inbound. Now for the final leg, which I believe is the shortest leg of the whole trip. If I can scroll my Map at only 200 nautical miles as opposed to 290 for this past leg and 281 for <laughs> the first leg we're gonna do some manual flying because why not Chilled Corky is done for the night. Glad to have you along. You have a great night, and we'll catch you on Discord and the next stream for sure. Take care of yourself. Glad to have you along, Gibbo. You take care of yourself, and we'll see you on the next stream and in the Discord. There's Sean Legoman. 
Nicely done. I do believe that is everyone. Or at least of our little band. So, welcome to Fairchild Air Force Base. Near Spokane, Washington. Now, I'm going to get the camera back here because I kind of want to see the different size difference between the BizJet and the F-15. All right, so yeah, so we'll wait for Sean Legman to pull up, and we're, we're gonna just kind of check sizes real quick. A one-person fighter jet versus a several-person passenger jet. Versus the size of the small training jet. <laughs> so there's definitely a comparable size between the longitude and the F-15. That being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and switch to this screen as I restart the sim before it has a chance to restart itself. all kinds of fun stuff and make sure it's all sort itself Da, 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 da. Seems to be good. Okay. Start the sim. Hope you're all having a good evening and on this fine Sunday. It's been quite Quite the fun little journey, little departure from the low and slow, getting into something fast and fierce for a little while. As Kingsman had said earlier, it's good to let the hair down every once in a while. And he was not wrong. I do wish that my feet, feet weren't freezing cold. So we wait the patiently. Glad you've been enjoying it, Big Ears. Come Tuesday, we'll resume the low and slow flying. Uh, I've yet to make the flight plan for tomorrow, but 
Rest assured, it will be in the normal speed category. As we wait for the, the old simulator to figure its life out. Six Knots has an early start in the morning. You're more than welcome, Six Knots. Glad you enjoyed it. We will see you in the Discord and on the next stream for sure. So you take care of yourself. You get some rest, and we'll catch you. I notice that should have hmm I'll have to play around with that don't mind me mumbling to myself. KTC. Back a few hours. There. Hit that button. Uh, Roger that, Allison. I know that struggle all too well. Nip that in the bud while you can. Or at least while it's easy to do, or easier to do. screen sure that's there that's there but that's there that back and going double check that and apparently my why are my engines already running What's going on? What's going on here? 
No. Some dim dumb bro. Okay, so let's go there. Engine started. Parking brake on. Let a flip. Engine one. <laughs> There's engine one start. That a blip. All right. Inlet ramp. Inlet ramp. And I skid. And now we'll roll towards. Don't mind me, I do know where I'm going, in theory. So we'll make our way out to the active and we'll hand fly our way down to McCord Air Force Base near Seattle, Washington. Don't hit the taxi lights. So are my internet settings, my multiplayer settings, Vork or am I solo Mio? Wait on that for a moment. And we'll go back to east. 
I said east. Uh, you would think that I would have seen somebody. So, hey, there we are. Woo, don't tip her over. So we'll taxi into position and wait for everyone to get up to the hold short at least. There's Frozen and there's Rogers and Sean Lugaman and Big Ears. So Make sure the trim is in neutral, everything's good. All right, let's go. Full afterburn. We almost made it up. There we go. You're coming up. All right, now that everybody's up, and it looks like there's a couple of B-52s baked into the taxiway, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves en route. Just going to do five zero 
Alright, so we're gonna two four zero as we make our way. To Tacoma, Seattle, and McCord. As we're under the shadow of a cloud. Check our speed, we're slowly climbing. Like to let everybody catch up as much as they can. been absolutely fun guys guys and gals folks fireflies being able to share the enjoyment of flight even though it's a flight sim is always a ton of fun sharing it with friends is makes it even better as Kingsman is watching from the mobile device. Glad to have you back. Glad it's been enjoyable from the spectator seat, Allison. We'll get you back into flights. On Tuesday, we'll get back into the low and slow once I create a flight plan. Glad you're enjoying it, Kingsman. Now, with the way my with the way I tweaked my back yesterday, I wasn't sure I was going to be <laughs> be able to sit through a stream today, which is why the info was mostly released late. I was doing the best I could to be optimistic, and so far it's held out just fine. I uh, don't get just to do the, do this these days, so enjoyed it all the more. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Like I said, we're we're once once the big UK Ireland update hits later this week, we'll be doing a. I've got a mac a mock loop flight plan all sorted out ready to go I've just been waiting for the proper opportunity to do it by having the the big update out as flight sim seems to be crashing again there it went so we move back to here Uh, 
trying to try something. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it will help. Oh dear. Uh -huh. Well, we'll just leave that the way it is for the moment. We're going to kill that, close that, restart the sim. But yeah, so the, the mock loop's a big plan. I've been wanting to do it, but then the update got delayed two weeks. So I wanted to I wanted to fly jets, and I know there are others that wanted to fly jets, and so I said, we're gonna fly jets. It will be there. Was this potential? No worries, Allison. Yeah, you, you, you're doing some pretty, pretty awesome work there. So no worries about that. figure once a month maybe jet stream not to be punny but definitely good to have the release every now and then of the the faster guys and know once we get spitfires there's going to be a lot of spitfire flying at the very least offline Yeah, the jets are fun. You know, my heart will is and can will continue to be in the low and slow GA stuff, but the jets are just they're a ton of fun. But yeah, you know, once a month have a, a fun jet stream. Oh, pardon me. Oh yeah, the mock loop's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I wouldn't mind at some point revising, doing a revised version of my Death Valley trip. Because that was also a lot of fun. Oh, for sure. You know, that might be part of my revised Death Valley run. I'll have to look into it. Plan it out. But yeah, for... I mean, I love the F-15. Sometimes it's too fast because you get to the, you know, Mach 2 and it's just like, okay, we're having, we're having fun and you can fly and fast and stuff and it's a hoot and a holler. But one of the best things I like about like the MB-339 or eventually the T-45C is it's, it's got that balance point of being really fast but still easy to fly and it's not too fast so you know doing getting really into the canyons deep and fast is a, little, a lot easier and like something like that and the mock loops great because it's a lot more open than the Star Wars Canyon over here in near Death Valley Ooh. Goodness, I don't know why the yawns just started to hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh, for sure. I am bet I bet somebody's working on it somewhere. They just haven't said anything. Because without a doubt, you know it's going to be there. 
Can't work. Okay. No, I really don't need to do there. Oh, start set departure. And Do that then. Keep that there. Hit the fly button. See how things go. <laughs> oh, again, I'm sure there will be something to for that. So I'm a little behind y'all, but I'm catching up fast. And like that, I've gotten back into the lead. So we're gonna go back down to the deck. Uh, watching a program the other day about feeling for nice. Really, Sam? This is getting silly there here, Sim.
Uh, there you go from. Well, TCM is our final stop for the night. We started off near. Hey, ATC, how about no? Where we started off near Salt Lake City at Hill Air Force Base, flew up to Bozeman, Montana, went to uh, current indicated airspeed is 225 knots. We're just flying over Kilo Echo Alpha Tango. Uh, we flew from Bozeman, Montana to Fairchild Air Force Base near Spokane, Washington. And we're making our way to McCord Air Force Base near Seattle, Washington. Uh, the current airport I'm overflying right now is Kilo Echo Alpha Tango, which is K Eat. That should get to you, get you to us quickly. Look at all the scenery I missed because of sim crashes. Roger that. Got Roger RC frozen. I saw Sean Legoman. Uh, the altitude, I'm indicating 6,500, roughly. Air is frozen. I see your name tag on the screen, Dirt Community. As we fly through a cloud. Look at that. Oh, there's plenty of room for activities over in this part of the world. It would be an awful shame to waste it. Turn and burn. Kick the tires and light the fires.
You take care, Ben. Thanks for stopping by. You enjoy the bowl. So many lovely mountains to fly in between. Big Ears is off for the night. Glad you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on Discord and the next stream for sure. You have a great evening. Take care of yourself. Now Murph, next flight, we've got to do some dangerous flying in the area of central Washington because man there are some nice canyons here to fly in or maybe not canyons so much as valleys Nathan Knox 240 is that you nope I am Cole Fork I mean just look at this Murph there's so many trees so many logs just begging to be flown fast over it would be a shame to deprive them of such a privilege to have the fireflies <laughs> the loggy goodness They're just begging for a firefly fly, firefly flight. Easy for me to say. <coughs> Pardon me. We get to fly over a lake. How about them apples? Look at this. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be doing later. Yes, yeah. I'm right on the magenta line from. A magenta, well, my magenta line's kind of erroneous. Um, I'm also flying kind of low, so there may be terrain in the way. That's, speaking of terrain. Uh, I see you directly behind me, kind of, sort of. If you look at the name tags, look for Roger RC or Frozen. That should get you to my rough location. I mean, this isn't Idaho, but it sure 
doesn't need to be. Dark Community, you're now in front of me. I still have your name tag in sight. Be advised I am flying low in between mountains because that's just fun. We're about to fly right underneath you. So you're currently at my one o'clock high position. Look at these valleys, Murph. You're now directly right of me. Looks like you found me. There's a river. And you know what we do when we find rivers going through mountains. We follow them. That's what we do. Trying to stay relatively close to my magenta line that'll get me to or Sean Legoman we're about to fly under. Got enemy at the gates. Next thing you know, Murph's going to announce that we're flying jets on Monday. No, we can't. We can't do that on Monday. We're, we're, we're doing the, the India tour Monday. Tuesday, jets. Or no, Wednesday, jets. In Washington. In Idaho. I can see it now. I'm changing Murph's plans as I fly. <laughs> You know what's not amazing? Sim crashes. Sim crashes are not fun. They're not amazing. 
They're not cool. As say Seiyu Kai X is now following on Twitch. Many thanks. Well, with all the troubles and sim crashes, I think I've got a... There's something funny going on. So, I think I'm going to call it. We've been streaming for three and a half hours, which is about normal time. Really apologize for the sudden end to the stream, but I have some investigating to do. But I do thank everyone for coming along. Uh, it's been great. Other than some crashes, especially the last three in the span of, like, 15 minutes. With that said, I'm really grateful for all the new subscriptions, the new follows, and everything, and I'm really glad that people enjoyed flying along, chatting along, and I wish you all well. But until next time, be good to each other, stay safe out there, catch you next time. Take care.